Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's math class, and today we have a new lesson. In the previous lessons, we have learned how to read and tell the time to the hour and to the half hour. So, on today, our lesson will be about problem solving strategy find a pattern problem yes do you remember everyone yesterday we have talked about the problem that the students faced to join the art contest so everyone they followed some steps to solve the problem right and today also we're going to do the same so we're going to solve a lot of problems and we need to find a strategy to follow. So before talking about all these things, I need your help to read the day and date. So everyone, look over here and read the day and date because this is our daily routine. This is the first thing that we usually do before starting our lesson. So, yesterday was Monday. What day comes after Monday? It's Tuesday. Well done. Okay, and the date is May 12, 2020. Everyone, by the way, I have a problem and I need your help. I need you to help me to solve my problem. So my problem is I am fasting and it's 5 p.m. So I am not sure at what time I am going to eat. So what I am going to do in this case? Who's going to help me? So it's 5 p.m. So after how many hours I am going to eat and break my fast? So tomorrow everyone, I want you to look at the analog clock, read the time and try to find out when your family will break their fast. And also I'm going to look at the time tomorrow and see when I can break my fast. And you know, you can break your fast when you hear Azan al Maghrib, right? So everyone, I want you to find out what time is Azan al-Maghrib. So can you do this? I am sure you can because you are so smart and you are the best. Okay, so everyone, our objectives for today, where are they? Let's read them together. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, you will be able to find a pattern to solve problems. Here we go. Mental math time. Here we go. It's mental math time. And mental math will help you to be so clever and smart. Okay, so please take your time. Read the questions carefully. I'm going to help you to read these questions. So what is the number between 18 and 20? I'm going to give you some time to think. So what is the number? 19. Correct. Excellent everyone. So 18, 19 and then 20. Let's read the second one. What is the number between 99 and 101? I'm going to give you some time. Okay, what is the answer? Correct! It's 100. I am so proud of you. Well done! 
and here we go let's revise what we have learned in the previous weeks about time to the half hour so everyone I want you to remember that in the analog clock there are two hands one of them for the hour and the other one for the minute so the hour hand points to or points between two and three the minute hand points to six. So what does this mean, everyone? So look at the short hand. I told you before, if you want to read the time properly, you need to look at the short hand first. So look at the hour hand first, read it, and then move to the long one. So as you can see over here, the short one is between two and three. It's in the middle it's in between but put in your mind it's coming from two o'clock and not reaching three o'clock yet so in this case i am going to say it's two thirty or half past two because if i look at the long one i can see that the long one stopped in the middle of the clock halfway around so everyone I want you to pay attention and to solve these questions okay so everyone look at question number one okay so what we're going to do first is to look at the short one and the short one is between 9 and 10 okay so it's not 10 yet so what we are going to do is to write 9, right? Because the short hand, okay, is coming from number 9, but it's not 10 yet. And if you look at the long one, you can find it in the middle of the clock. Okay, it stopped in the middle of the clock. So that's why we're going to say it's 9 30 okay and half past nine and I want you to look at number two so read the short one first the short one is between five and six but it's not six yet right so it's five thirty great and the time is half past five and later on everyone I'm gonna to explain to you that the the minutes in the clock are 60 60 minutes and what is the half of 60 30 right later on we're gonna explain this after tomorrow now let's pass this and move to the video of today so everyone there is a video over here please watch the video okay and also you can find the link in the description below so everyone we get to know that when we have a problem we need to understand what is the problem and also try to solve it and finally find a solution Okay, let's read what's written here. There are some steps, as you can see, step number one, two, and finally three, okay? So what you need to do first is to understand and underline what you know, circle what you need to find. Plan, okay, this is number two. How will I solve the problem? And finally three, solve, find a pattern. So what we are going to do is to read the problem and try to understand and when I say understand it means that you are going to underline what you know and circle what you need to find. So everyone this is our first step. Now let's read the question together. The buses leave in order every half hour. Bus 1 leaves at 9.30. Bus 2 leaves at 10. What time do buses 3 and 4 leave? 
Okay, so here we go. We have a problem and we need to solve it. So I want you to think and use your mind. Okay, so read the question again. Read it carefully, everyone, and then try to find the pattern here. So as you can see, everyone, the first bus leaves every day at 9.30. Okay? And then the second bus leaves at 10 o'clock. So what does this mean? It means the buses leave in order every half hour. Every half hour. So if you have an analog clock, I want you to use it and to move the short hand, okay? Half hour after 10. So, what time is it? Correct! It will be 10.30. Good thinking, everyone. Okay, and now I want you to move the our hand again. So move it another half. So what time is it? 11 o'clock. Well done. Thank you for helping. Okay everyone, now I want you to get your math book because we're going to solve page 607. 607. So please everyone, I want you to write the day and date okay before you start and as you can see there are two problems over here it means i need your help to solve these problems i know you can help me because you are super smart so let's read the question together in the morning, Miss White. Let's say Miss Mona. Okay. In the morning, Miss Mona students change activities every hour. Reading starts at 8.30. Her students go to three more activities. When do each of the activities start? So everyone, I want you to think about the question. Okay. Remember the steps we have Three steps to follow, understand, plan, and solve. Okay, everyone, so what you need to do is to underline the information, the key, uh, the key words, and also circle what you need to find, right? And then after that, you're going to solve the problem. And you need to show me how you are going to solve it. So, what we are going to look for is to find the pattern. We need to find the pattern to solve this problem. So, everyone, let's underline what do we need to find or what do we know. Okay, so here, let's say Miss Muna's students change activities every hour. So, every hour. Reading starts at 8.30. 8.30, her students go to three more activities. When do each of the activities start? So everyone, if you have an analog clock in your house, I want you to use it, okay? So here is the clock, everyone. This is the clock. This is the analog clock. And as you can see, numbers are over here. So everyone, here is my analog clock and as I said to you that uh, Miss Mona's students change activity every hour, so it's 8.30, right? It's 8.30. And what you are going to do is to make a full turn, just, you know, move the short hand, let it travel all the way back, okay? And then you're going to see 
it will stop at 9.30, okay? And continue doing the same. And it will stop at 10.30. And finally, 11.00. So what I want you to do is to use the analog clock and try to travel one hour, okay, and then check the time. Okay, and here we go, question number two. Students start work in learning stations at 10.30, okay? They start, okay working in learning stations at 10.30. After two hours, they go to lunch. After two hours, okay? They go to lunch. Three hours after lunch begins, they go home. What time do the students go home? Okay, everyone, so first of all, the learning station starts at 10.30, right? 10.30. So after two hours, what time it will be? So after two hours, it will be 12, 12.30, right? Right, everyone? Okay. And after that, what? Let's read the second part. They go lunch three hours after lunch begins. They go home. So what time do the students go home? Okay, so if the time, if it's 12.30, okay, so let's make it this way, it's 12.30. So after three hours, what time it will be? So let's check. One, two, Three. So it will be everyone three thirty. Okay, it will be three thirty. Okay, let me write it one more time. Let me use this to write it. So the time will be three thirty. Okay, so what I want you to do is to use the analog clock because it will be very useful and helpful. So, it's important to use it, everyone, in solving these questions because you can move the hour hand and read the time or find the time. Okay, and here we go, question number four. I want you to open page 608 and write the day. Okay, let's say, uh, Omar has four shoes. He places an equal number of shoes in two suitcases. How many shoes will be in each suitcase? So let's try to underline what do we need to find and what do we know. So as you can see everyone, Robert has eight shoes. Okay. And he places an equal number of shoes in two suitcases so he has two suitcases okay and he places an equal number of shoes in two suitcases so what we're going to do is here to um, divide number eight okay into equal parts so what we're going to do is let me draw one Okay, it's hard to draw. Okay, I'm gonna skip the drawing. So let me go back here. So as I said to you, he has eight shoes and we're gonna divide it into the two suitcases. So we're gonna, draw, we're gonna write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So how many shoes will be in each suitcase, everyone? Four. Correct. 
The last question over here, the subway arrives at station on the hour and half hour. It's now 4.30. Kate's family is on the way, but it will take one hour to get there. What is the earliest time her family can get on the subway? And here we go, the class bell rings every 30 minutes. The first one rings at 8.30. So what time will the fourth bell ring? I want you to think about it, everyone. And finally, there is a game here. And don't miss the game, it's fun. And you can, you know, have more practice about reading and telling time and here we go um there is a question over here i want you to read the question carefully and then answer it use the strategy find the pattern okay and remember the steps understand plan solve okay and here's a game everyone don't miss the game because you need to practice reading the time and as i said to you before try to look at the analog clock and read it you can ask the help of your mom your dad or your siblings thank you everyone for listening bye